everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lois. I make fashion and lifestyle videos on this channel, so if that's something you're interested in, please continue watching, like, subscribe and share my videos. On today's fragrance of the week, we're going to talk about this lovely Maison Margiela's replica, Jazz Club. The replica range of perfumes from Maison Margiela is a reproduction of familiar scents and moments of varying locations and periods. So for example, you know, scents have a way of transporting you to somewhere either, obviously not in the future, but in the past. For example, my mom used to wear this perfume called Tweety and now, I don't know if it was a perfume or a body spray, but the scent was called Tweety. And now if I smell it, I I, I just go back to, to my childhood. I remember my mom, I remember what we were doing with my sisters. So I guess this is what their aim was to with this line of fragrances. They have a few of them, they have Jazz Club, they have By the Fireplace, they have Beach Walk. Um, I've tried two, which one of them is this Jazz Club, which is supposed to represent Brooklyn Gentleman Jazz Club. I haven't been to <laughs> any Brooklyn Gentleman Jazz Club, but I imagine the Jazz Club smell like this. This is the atmosphere. This is where it takes you back to, or it takes you to, it transports you to here. So, but it does remind me of a bar. You know, um, if you're Kenyan, a lot arrow. I would say a lot arrow would smell like this. You know, it's dark. It looks dingy, but but it's like it's dark. It's sophisticated it's luxurious it's cigarettes it's rum it's you know it's drink it's a night out but not in a disco it's a night out in a chilled adult place with nice soft music where you know those clubs or those um those places where you can actually speak to someone <laughs> it smells like yeah this fragrance Jazz Club was released in 2013 and it costs about 120 US dollars for 100 milliliters. The notes in the fragrance are lemon, pink pepper, neroli oil, clary sage oil, rum absolute, java vetiver oil, styrax resin, tobacco leaf absolute and vanilla bean. It does smell of it does smell of cigars and rum. And you know one that has set in that's why I say a bar in the bar the liquor spills the cigar set into furniture and fabric and everything so it just smells like everything has settled in there <laughs> that's what it smells like it takes you back to a nice relaxed club or bar listening to nice music chilling no stress, having nice conversations, smoking your cigar. And I, I don't do any of those things. But I have been to, to bars that this would remind me of. And like I say, somewhere like Lord Arrow in Kenya, in Nairobi, would smell like this. It does smell like this, I've been there. So this is where that takes you back to. The fragrance is described as a heady cocktails and cigars. It's geared towards men. I wear it as a woman, no, there's nothing for men and women. If you like something, you like it. But I would say I would wear it for night time if I'm going out, out, not out for dinner only. But if I'm going out, out, then you, I just kind of will mix with the, with the scent of the bar. <laughs> Actually, it smells like, you know, when you go out and you party a lot and your clothes the next day have like the cigarette and the, and the beer in a nice cigarette and beer spot. Not in the one that sells fries and uh, potatoes and, and smells of fried food. No, not that one. The ones that smell like clean and nice and sophisticated. This is one of those. I wear this and if you wanted to buy this for your guy, you can buy it and when he's not there, you can use it to remind you of him. It just, it, it does smell of a guy. It, it smells of a nice, a nicely dressed guy who likes to have a little bit of fun. What kind of guy would I say would wear this? A little bit of a mature-ish guy, um, I would say over 30 years old, enjoys a, a bit of cigars and a drink, a nice expensive drink, wears a nice watch, is calm, self-assured, 
smells like that type of guy. He smells like Christian Grey, you know, Christian Grey or Fifty Shades of Grey. I would think he would smell like this if he went out and, you know, because he went to like super nice spots. So that, that's what I would think he would smell like. So if you want to get this for your guy, it's good. For girls, I think it's good as well. For me, I, I do wear it, so obviously <laughs> it doesn't. Most of the fragrances are, are, are unisex. So, but this one is specifically geared towards men. But this woman here is wearing it. So, go figure. So, anyway, um, that's all I can say about this fragrance. The whole replica line is designed to take you to a place in time you've experienced, you've liked, you've enjoyed. Like the fragrances you have, for example, light blue. There's a time I wore light blue for years and years, and actually my sisters as well wore it. Anytime I smell light blue on anybody, I think of my sisters because they wore light blue for years, and it was like a signature home fragrance. That's what Maison Majella tried to do with this replica line of fragrances. If you can try them out, if you can't, I don't know, try out a tester, order a tester. And I'm sure you can find testers everywhere or anywhere. I'm not sure. But yeah, try them out. Try it. Let me know what you think. If you've tried them, let me know what your thoughts are. If there's one specific one you want to try, please let me know. I hope you're enjoying these videos, guys. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you'd like me to try. If you'd like me to try another fragrance that I haven't talked about, please let me know. I'll be bringing these weekly. So please like, share, subscribe to my videos. See you on the next one. Goodbye.